Those who knew her said that she was an ordinary human being who did not attract any attention. Yet her puzzling and unusual condition caused quite a stir among scholars at the time, even though she had been examined by experts on countless occasions, and even today, no can anyone provide a satisfactory explanation for the mysterious glowing lights that surrounded it. Anna Monero was a deeply religious woman living in the Italian countryside. She was the mother of twelve children. She suffered almost her entire life from chronic asthma, a condition that forced her to spend time in the hospital often. Her faith in God and her religious beliefs were so strong that she followed Catholic traditions knowing that they might endanger her health. For example, through fasting, in March, it is common for Christians to spend 40 days in a state of fasting. Anna did not eat for several days and her physical condition deteriorated while her asthma problems increased. Friends and family feared that she might not survive, and had to transport her. Urgently to a nearby hospital. And on March 8, 1934, something strange happened in the hospital. The nurse, Maria Girardi, who was occupying the sick bed next to Anna, suddenly noticed that the whole room was so bright that one could not see anything so bright, the nurse was terrified. And she said goodbye to the other nurses while they were screaming because the light was coming from Anna's body. When the nurses entered the room they saw that she was sleeping, and she seemed completely unaware of the fact that she was surrounded by bright light. The nurses called Dr. Domenico Sambo, who was equally surprised when he saw the intense blue light above Anna Monero's body. When Dr. Sambo examined her, he concluded that the light had indeed come from inside her body, and that what he was seeing was an unusual medical condition, but everything. He was referring to the hospital having a self-illuminating patient, so to speak. When the medical staff woke Mrs. Monero and told her what had just happened, she seemed unconcerned and said the light must be God's work. In fact, Dr. Sambo was a man of science and did not believe in such matters, and he was looking for a logical explanation. He was certainly not keen to accept the hypothesis of divine intervention as an answer to this medical problem he was facing, and he gathered a number of local doctors and intellectuals and asked them assistance in the investigation of the case of Anna Monero. The group consisted of two doctors, a schoolteacher, and Count Bruno de Forgiomi. The men witnessed how the blue light left Anna's body after illuminating the room for the next ten nights. Speed, and it was not long before the Italian newspapers began publishing and writing about that mysterious woman who lights herself up. And the story also spread in the foreign media, and doctors from other countries and cities visited the hospital and began examining the strange and unexplained condition of Anna, and she underwent several checkups and results clearly showed that there was nothing wrong with her. In the meantime, it was decided to transfer Anna Monero to a more advanced hospital in Rome, where doctors, psychologists, and priests continued to examine her, and they could not provide any answers, only pure guesses. And when reporters interviewed her she told, told them that her body had lit up on several occasions also in the past when she was eight years old, her parents witnessed how glowing her skin was, and a local doctor documented the unusual case. She also revealed that she had psychic abilities that enabled her to see the dead and events that took place miles away. Needless to say, the coverage the media was successful, and everyone wanted to read about the mysterious glowing woman and her mysterious secret. Then, in June 1934, it all ended as quickly as it began. Anna Monero no longer suffered from annoying asthma. And she didn't glow at night anymore, and she was discharged from the hospital in Rome and sent home. And the experts wrote a 52-page scientific report published in September of the same year, and the report contained many theories, but the conclusion was clear, 
an unexplained case, and in fact, Anna Monero is one of the most puzzling medical conditions science has faced so far.